Hello and welcome to Car Dealer Live. My name is James Batchelor and today I am joined by, well, let's face it, he's an industry titan, isn't he? Uh, Peter Waddell is best known for his successful big motoring world used car supermarket group and he joins me now. Hello, Peter. Hello, good afternoon to yourself and how are you, James? Very well, thank you. And all the better for talking to you because we haven't spoken to you for a while. So it's lovely to to have a chat. Um let's well, let's start off with this then um now uh hopefully you can clear this up for us we reported a while ago that you may be buying available car which is another uh used car supermarket business um is it true were, were we correct uh, yes and no so we, we've got a fantastic guy called Graham bell he's a lovely chap he's getting a bit old and it was getting a bit much for him so we did a deal where we've taken over Leeds and Canuck. So we've taken over two of them sites. They'll be dressed up as Big Motor World. And they were one as Big Motor World. And available cars, Sutton and Castle Donington is going to be run by the great man himself, Mr. Mr. Bell. So yes, you was 50% right, but you wasn't 100. <laughs> So, so the sites that um, he's going to continue running, I mean, you, you're not going to have any involvement in that whatsoever. It's still no. a separate business. It's Graham. It's him. It's all down to him as available cars. He, he built a great brand. He built a great thing. And basically, he's a great man who's going to do a great job in them two sites in the okay. Canuck and the Sutton. So it's it, Sutton and uh, Donington. Yeah. We've just taken the Canuck site and the lead site off of him to run as yeah. Big Motoring World. So yes, she was fifty percent right. Well, we I'll take. Quiet, we kept very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take fifty percent. That's absolutely fine. Um, now who 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 approached who first? Was it you? Or was it was it the bells? Well, I think it was a fifty fifty. I think Graham is getting older, and uh, you know he's done a great job and he's done a great brand and with great people. We want to expand, so we approached his father, and uh, we got a deal done. It was a. Seven month progress uh, of getting it over the line, but we got there in the end, didn't we? <laughs> you know, but it was it's hard. You know, we we expanded our business. You know, we just opened up Wimbledon, which is a thirty number car site. That's now open. Uh, we'll be at thirty number cars by the end of the month. So our company is about growth. We're looking for growth, and when you look at our company to a lot of the large companies out there, you know they're not making money. So to go in and and do what we've done is uh, quite bold um, but we did make 17 million pounds last year yeah. uh, we did the same this year and we want to try and get it at 45 million next year we'll be uh, a billion pound turnover turnover is not profit i like the profit not the turnover <laughs> so that's the difference <laughs> Well, I'll come. I'll come. I'll come back to that in a second because there are there are a couple of things you raised there which I want to get your views on a little bit more. But but firstly, um, uh, you, so you've taken two of available cars sites. I mean, what what was it that attracted you to to taking a, a slice of their business? Well, I think you know they've got great people in the business. I think they just uh, needed a bit of tech. They needed a big prep centre. They needed a bit of tech. They needed a bit of help. So that's why we we took them over, and we think we can do really well with them. Mm. Uh, and grow the business like we've done so far in the whole country. So, you know, I think going up north is, is good for us. It takes me back to my hometown a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's, it's quite a good idea. I think it's, it's a great idea uh, and to grow the business and, and to go bigger. Mm. As they say, go bigger, go home. <laughs> <laughs> my, son keeps, my son keeps telling me that. He keeps telling me he's, gonna, he's coming after me. He's, he's 24 and doing a fantastic job. So... <laughs> You know, the apple don't fall far from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's he's going to have a tough job, um, sort of beating beating his father, though, isn't he? Let's face it. But uh... yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> there's still there's still a little bit of life in the old dog yet. At Fifty eight. There's there's a little bit of life still in the dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, it's great to see you smiling and. Um, and having, you know, feeling energised. And I suppose that's, mm-hmm. that's what happens when you're a success. And it, I mean, looking at your accounts last year, you know, a pro- pre-tax profit soared by, soared by 65% to 10.9 million. The business is, is in fantastic shape, isn't it? Mm-hmm. In world. 
Absolutely. You know, we have a big prep centre. We, we we grew that business uh, and we've been growing it successfully. We've we've spent a lot of money in a lot of our tech. Our tech is, is, is a big world leader uh, in tech. We have, we have a fantastic tech system and we've drew the business strength and strength. And, uh, you know, that's not done by me. You know, you've got to understand I'm just a CEO. Uh, the people that did it, as I said, is, you know, my staff. You know, I, I follow uh, the, the, the uh, they call me the Titanian, but the actual right guy who was the Titanian of the industry is a man called um, Jeffries, you know, Mr. Jeff hmm. from the, the car giant. He was the, the man who set up the car supermarkets. He grew the business, Mr. Warren. He, he, he did the job. I think I said it before him one of the interviews before with James Baggett when he asked me who was my two top people. So I looked at him and, and we've sort of grew the business from him. So really and truly, he's the man that's made us, as it says, because we took the module from him and we built it. So, you know, we've done very well in the business. I look at another guy, Eddie Hornthorn from uh, Arnold Clark, another guy who's a fantastic operator, got in the job, does the job, speaks his mind, does the job and gets on with it. Yeah. Um, so you know, there's the two people now I look up to who... I've smashed it out the park, and hopefully, if I can get up to that number and be with them two people in that bunch, I'll be, I'll be quite impressed. Yeah. Does that make sense before I retire? <laughs> <laughs> life and the old dog, yeah, there, yeah. There's still a bit of life. And look at Eddie; he's a bit older than me, and he's still going, isn't he? Yeah. So. <laughs> well, Eddie, if you're watching, just don't direct your abuse towards Peter, not us. <laughs> um... <laughs> he's a lovely man. He's a lovely man. I've only met him once, but a lovely man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, uh, you, you mentioned the used car supermarket model. Um, I mean, let's face it, at the moment, there are some big names who are struggling. Uh, we know about Motorpoint, they're having a tough time and they're saying that they're having problems finding stock and prices of used EVs have been falling. Peter Vardy has closed some of its big sites as well. Are you experiencing anything similar or is this sort of <clears throat> sounds a bit strange to you? Well, it's very strange to me because we've got more stock now than ever. We we will be at 10,000 cars by Christmas. Uh, I don't think Eddie's had a problem. I think Eddie's at 28,000 cars. So he's not got a problem. Um, but that takes you on to uh, we buy any car. We now have 100 and something lobbies. Um, and we built, we big buy your car. It's now buying 140 cars a day. And that business will go national wide. We just bought the head office. Lloyd's Bank's head office down in Gillingham. So that will have 500 staff in there. So we intend to grow that business next year. We'd like to try and get it up to 500 cars a day. From that, we've got our own auction opening up, which is called Bid Up uh, Auction, which is an auction platform, which uh, we set up and that should be live next year to sell all the part exchanges and all of that. So that's doing well. And then we've also got our own um, finance company opening up called Car Loan which opens up in January. So between the car loan, the auction, big buys your car, and more sites, we should get a turnover over a billion pounds next year. But it's the profit I'm after, and we would like 50 million. So we're, we're heading. We're heading up in the right way. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to keep going because my wife keeps spending the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like they all do, don't they? <laughs> Although I've heard of your of your garage and the cars are in your garage, and I don't think it's just your wife who likes to spend money. <laughs> so. Well, we we bought a big villa down in Spain. Uh, we've been building, so we we just built um like a thirty million pound villa down in Spain. So we've been building that, and the new boat comes next year. So yes, I would agree with you there. But the bags do seem to get more expensive at Harrods every every year. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible, Peter, and I'm I'm struggling to pay my heating bill. But yes, thank you yes. very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have the same problem. My house is a bit big. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I mean, I, you 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 spoke there about um, you know, these these new launches, these how the business is developing. I know this is a difficult question to answer, but there are some other big names in the business. We we just mentioned a couple there who 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 are struggling. Um. What is it that that's that's allowing you to to perform really well at the moment? Is it this new investment? Because of course you sold off the stake of the business, having to, to well, then capitalists. I mean, what is it? How are you so doing? I, I find it quite interesting when people talk about the stream. There's a guy there called Reza, fantastic guy, but it lets me get on with it. 
In fact, he, he never speaks to me. <laughs> he just says to me, Peter, have the number, say, oh, I don't need to speak to you. And he's a fantastic guy. And, and, and the Fresh Gene guys have come along. We've got Lawrence Vaughan, who was, helped Snitzer grow. Uh, and he does his part. You know, so he's doing very well. We, we took some big names, Neil Hudson. We've got uh, one of the guys from Sainsbury's HR. And we brought in a lot of high-tech people. We've got Stuart, who's an IT guy. We've got Bob, who is an operations guy who's, who's worked a long, long time with us, 20 years. And we've got Darren. So we have a very strong core team of people. But, you know, even them, and not the people that's done the business, it's the staff, it's the valeters, it's the, you know, the yardmen. From, from them all the way up, it's them people that have absolutely smashed that out of the park. And if you've got a team, you know what, you always say team. Together, everyone achieves more. There's no way. There's a team. And that's what we are, a team. And we're a team that's, that's moving up north, and, and we're going to grow this business uh, to as big and big as we can yeah. before I retire, because I did say I was going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> my, my son said to me the other day, he said, Dad, when are you ever going to retire? He says, you're 58 years of age coming up. He says, you're still like a live wire. <laughs> I love the trade. I love the people. I love, I love what we do. And that's what that we like sense. to hear. Yeah, that's what we like to hear. And, and I look forward to talking to you in 10 years' time. So um, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> you're still here. <laughs> um, let, let's just talk just briefly again about the used car supermarket industry. You obviously still see a lot of uh, growth opportunities in this part of the oh. industry, whereas compared to the online um businesses such as you know, kazoo and cinch and of course Carzam, which um uh, you know you, you you had at one stage do you think the used car business is, is the one that's going to grow uh, the, the oh, used business is the one that's going to grow the most absolutely. i mean you, you've got to look at Carzam. Carzam i built with a man called john bailey it was yeah. john bailey's idea and uh, i don't know if you know john bailey is no longer in the company he, yeah. i bought him out last year uh, and he parted away from the industry. Uh, the car business is where my heart's always been. Big Motor Wars where it's always been. Anybody that knows me will know the car business is always where it's been. We've done very well, you know, uh, in the business. I think there's some great people. I think things are changing. I think technology is taking in. Will the online be there? There probably will be if they can keep getting funding. I've noticed that Carzu's shares are now less than a, a dollar. Yeah. I think they're at 50 cents. I know that in New York, if they go 30 days, they get taken off uh, the market. So I don't know how long that's going to be, unless it's a miracle. John Dunkley is now running it, I believe. I think if there's anybody that's going to do it, it's going to be John, personally. Uh, have they got a chance? Yes, they have. They'll always have a bit of work if they can raise the money and they can keep going. Singe is another one, which is owned by TDR, as you know. Uh, I'm sure that's who it's owned by, or, or somewhere along there with We Buy Any Car and all of that. I don't know what their figures were last year, but I don't think they were that good. And uh, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? We'll have to wait and see. What I do know is we've got our own stock, we're buying our own stock, we've got our own option. We've got our own finance, so we're becoming very, very independent to grow the business. Yeah, as they say, the song goes by Queen. There's no stopping us now. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking ahead to um to next year, then um we know that used car prices have obviously slipped, but they're always going to slip. But uh, do you think you're still going to be able to buy cars at, at a good price next year and make a tidy profit on them? I think what will happen next year is you're going to get market will come back to normal, like it's starting to do now. The uh, prices are coming down. As the prices come down, there's more and more new cars coming to the market. Mm. As the more new cars come to the market, people go back to the way it used to be. Mm. And then it will just all go back into place. And I think that's going to happen over the next 18 months. I think there's a lot of scare mongering going on. And I think it's not there. I think cars are there. There's plenty of them. Look at the options. Mm. They're all coming back, aren't they? Mm. So I don't think, I think the only difference is, is a lot of people now have got their own rebar on like car. You, know, you look at Lucas, Pendragon, all of these people are now saying, hang on a minute, we don't want to go to auction and pay 600 quid at BC. We'd rather buy our own cars. And I think that's also what's happening in the business. 
there's you know motorway there's you know car wow there's all of these different models now that are breached out to buy cars in the open place so i think that side of the model has changed a bit mm. personally you know so i think there has been a few changes in lockdown and i think you know some of these things that's gone on is it's changed isn't it the way we think and how we work yeah. you know cars you know you're selling older cars because now people want older cars because the prices have gone up you've got your, your high interest they have gone up so it's it's all coming isn't it yeah. if that makes sense yeah does that make sense yeah it does make sense yeah it does make sense and and lastly i just want to get your view on um used electric car prices i mean have you um have you, have you are you still stocking them in the same way that you have in the past yeah. or have you been a bit scared yeah. no 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 our london sites are the ones that are really doing well with them our london sites in the country is not so good um yeah. but in london we seem to be selling loads and loads of electric cars so I don't have a problem with it. I think they, 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 they've they levelled out in the right price now. Mm. And I think it's it's coming. I don't think it's as the big game changer that people see. Yeah. I think it's, you know, I mean, I just bought the new electric spectrum, Rolls Royce, um, because the tax is so good. Yes. Uh, and I'm waiting to get that. And I actually bought that from uh, Snixon. Uh, so I'm waiting to get that delivered at the end of next month. So, yeah, I think, you know, what electric cars are not a bad thing. We have a company fleet is Tesla's. So we have about 100 Teslas for our managers. They love them. They, they enjoy them. They, they don't pay big taxes. So, so it works well for them, doesn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. You know, but I don't think it's going to be the market that's going to be overtaken by electric. Especially after we see what happened at Luton. I think it was Luton Car Park. Was it a standstill too? Yes. So, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't think that's helped. <laughs> no. No, it hasn't. And it's it's, it's just fueled the, the anti-EV agenda, yes. hasn't it? Which is very, yes. very strong at the moment. So, yeah. Um, well, Peter, thanks for giving up your time. Congratulations on the acquisition. And we can't wait to, of course, you're going to be joining us at Car Dealer Live next year. At, Absolutely. At, uh, at Gaydon. And we can't wait to chat more. But for today, thanks very much for joining you us. You take care. Have a great day. And to everybody in the industry, keep going. Even to Tom Hartley. Get up at four in the morning and get to work okay <laughs> such wise words Take care. thanks Good peter friend. thank you bye-bye 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 well that's it for today's car Alive. alive join us again very soon bye-bye